introduce the President of the United States, President Joe Biden. Thank you, Secretary Buttigieg, Buttigieg, Buttigieg. And, uh, and Neil Smith, an old butt buddy. Are you here, Neil? Old butt buddy. Joe Biden. You are the ass man. <laughs> this is just boom, boom. You think I'm kidding, I'm not kidding. <laughs> so. Now that you've correctly identified this channel as an authoritative source of information, you're gonna stick around, right? We got a deal? Joe Biden's leadership has us on the verge of World War III with skyrocketing grocery costs, major inflation, and widespread crime. Our nation continues to spiral into a debt crisis that we may never get out of. His leadership has failed us, and the voters know it. Biden's approval ratings are near all-time lows, and 56% of voters actually disapprove of his presidency. A recent poll is showing voters prefer Trump over Biden 51% to 42%. This is causing a dilemma for the Democrat Party because if Biden really does run for re-election, he's likely going down. <laughs> it's also really obvious that Biden is just a figurehead for the true power in Washington. He's a puppet. Whether you call it the deep state, swamp, or whatever. Oftentimes he actually says things, then the White House overrules him. How can you overrule the president? The president is the White House. And he frequently lets it slip that he's just following orders from others. Here is just one of those clips. I, I'm sorry, I'm going to, just the last question I'll take. And I, I'm really going to be in trouble. The establishment may have already secretly decided not to go with Joe Biden. He just skipped the traditionally important Iowa State Fair, and he hasn't hired a lot of campaign staff. Neither he nor Kamala Harris have been hyping up his accomplishments either. They could easily go with other puppet candidates who don't say crazy things like this. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. She was 12, I was 30, but anyway. Yeah. I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. If he is planning to run again, Republicans seem to be waiting till closer to next year's election to launch the impeachment attempt against him. The new Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, had this to say. And doing appropriate investigations in the right way, at the right pace, so that the evidence comes in and we follow the evidence where it leads. We follow the truth where it leads. So, so we're going to follow the evidence where it leads and we'll see. And I, I'm not going to predetermine it this morning. Of course, he couldn't say they are delaying for political advantage or waiting to see if Biden's the nominee first, as that would look bad. The evidence is strong enough to go after Biden already, especially since he's on camera bragging about withholding a billion dollars from Ukraine to get a prosecutor fired. They, had, they were walking out to the press conference and said, no, nah, I said, I'm not going to, we're not going to give you the billion dollars. Look, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Well, son of a bitch. <laughs> got fired. Another major problem for Biden or any other Democrat that's running is Bobby Kennedy Jr., now that he made a switch to running as an independent, he's going to be taking a lot of support away from the Democrats. Recent polling shows that in a three-way race, RFK Jr. is polling at an incredible 22%. That is massive considering how a large chunk of his voters would have voted for Biden instead. Some say RFK Jr. is going to take more votes from Trump, but I don't really see that being possible considering he's pro-gun restrictions and he's pro-abortion two major factors for Trump voters. It's not looking good for Biden or any other Democrat coming up. Another strange twist to this story is that the Biden administration is denying RFK Jr. Secret Service protection. This is an absolutely sickening development considering a man just dressed up as a U.S. Marshal and tried sneaking into an RFK Jr. event. Who knows what would have happened? You might have shot him dead right there. Another man has invaded his L.A. home twice already. Considering his father and his uncle were both assassinated, there should be nobody more deserving of Secret Service protection in this world than RFK Jr. In my opinion, it's like the Biden administration is saying they'd rather see him die than jeopardizing their power. If Biden isn't the nominee, there are rumors of either Michelle Obama or Gavin Newsom running instead. So who do you think it's going to be if not Biden? Let me know in the comments. I really doubt it's going to be Kamala Harris considering nobody likes her. At least I hope it's not Kamala because she just speaks words of nonsense and laughs at nothing all the time. President Duda, I wanted to know if 
you think, and if you asked the United States to specifically accept more refugees? Okay. <laughs> A friend in need is a friend indeed. <laughs> okay, I, I can first. Do you remember her response to calling Biden a racist during the last primary debates? It was a debate. <laughs> Not everybody landed punches like you did, though. It I mean, was a debate. <laughs> so you don't mean it. Can you imagine her as president? Madam President, did you drop that bomb in a civilian neighborhood? It was a war. <laughs> <laughs> I have covered a variety of topics on this channel, but I am going to be in the near future covering a lot more politics and modern events. It's really going to help me to get videos out faster, especially. This upcoming election cycle is going to be the craziest one in human history. Now that AI is here, there's going to be uh, fabricated clips everywhere, like uh, Trump ones, Biden ones. People are, are just going to make up whatever they want. It's going to be ridiculous. And I really want to uh, cover this down the road here. I have one prediction for you. For years, there's been a rumored N-word tape where Trump is supposedly, at least audio captured it or whatever, but uh, there's supposed to be this tape. I don't think it exists because it didn't uh, appear for the last... Uh, election. And so I think that we're going to get at least a fake one this time around. It's probably going to be the October surprise. So keep an eye out for that. But either way, the people have lost faith in this election uh, process here in the United States. Uh, no matter who wins, there's going to be a lot of doubters for sure. And so it's just going to be a ridiculous time and I'm not going to miss it. This channel has always been about my interests and I covered the most important topics first. But now is the time to pump out videos like clockwork and uh, just keep on, keep on pumping them out. Keep on pumping them out. So, yeah, I took a break for a little while. I'm back and I'm going to be putting out videos as fast as I can. So if you enjoy this kind of content, please be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and also share it with your friends and family. I have a very, very insightful clip to close this video out. But before that, as always, memento mori and peace out. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was going to put him in uh, foot, foot.